Okay, this is 2.4, so easy. Um, really quickly. Sine, cos, tan, cotan, secant, cosecant, x. Derive cos x. Derive negative sine x. Derive secant squared x. Cotan, uh, uh, negative cosecant squared x. Secant x is negative tan x cos sorry secant x negative cotan x cosecant x memorize all of it okay so knowing these you need have to have them memorized type here let's find the derivative this was the written part of last year by the way this exact question with the exact numbers okay this question was in the written anyway so x sine x cubed minus 8 find y prime it's two functions, right? So we need to use product rule. So u prime v plus v prime u. u prime will be one. V will be what? <coughs> Sine x cube minus eight. Uh huh. V prime u. V prime will be cos x cube minus eight times the derivative of what's inside. Don't forget. So times three x squared. Times now u which is x. So all of this is v prime because the derivative of sine x cubed minus 8 is cosine x cubed minus 8 times 3x squared because it has to be the derivative of what's inside. Anyways, so we're going to get sine x cubed minus 8 plus cosine x cubed minus 8 uh, times uh, 3x cubed. So this is going to be the answer. Uh, get, bring the x's together. Huh? So plus 3x cubed cos x cubed minus 8. All right. Given y is equal to x squared cosine this, find y prime. Same thing, product rule. So u prime v plus v prime u. So 2x uh, cos uh, x squared plus x minus 1 plus v prime u. What's the difference of this cos? Negative sine cos x squared. What? Sorry, sorry. Why did I write cos again? negative sine x squared plus x minus 1 times the derivative of what's inside which is 2x plus 1 derivative of what's inside is 2x plus 1 hella times what u which is x squared so you gotta like make it look nice so 2x cos x squared plus x minus 1 uh, minus uh, plus minus doesn't matter minus uh, 2x times x squared is 2x cubed plus x squared into sine x squared plus x minus 1. Twenty-eight. This command came written, but it was different numbers. Okay. Given y is equal to x secant x over x plus 1, find dy by dx. So we need to do what rule here? Quotient rule. But I need a lot of space, so I'm going to take this to a new page. You're actually going to use both rules, quotient and product, together. Why? Hello, you'll see. I will see. This is u, this is v. What's the rule? u prime v minus v prime u over v squared. Yalla. When you have like a, a big function, I like finding u prime and v prime by themselves. Okay? Let's find u prime. What's the derivative of x secant x? Isn't this also a product? Yes. So you now need to do a product rule x secant x what's the difference of x secant x it's gonna be product rule u prime v u prime is 1 v is secant x plus v prime u what's the difference of secant x it's negative secant tan x please make sure you put secant x don't say negative secant tan this is not math you have to say x x okay El -Muhim negative secant x tan x uh, that's uh, the derivative of secant x times v which is x so, this is v prime this is u this is u prime this is v anyways so this is uh, the the this is u prime this is all u prime now hello v prime what's v prime what's the derivative of x plus 1 is just 1 type let's now apply our rule u prime v 
So this secant x minus secant x tan x with the x in front. Why the x in front? Because remember, don't forget this x at the end. Huh? That's u prime times v. What's v? x plus 1. Minus v prime u. What's v prime? It's just 1. What's u? x secant x. All over v squared, so x plus 1 squared. If there's anything obvious that you can simplify, simplify it. But for now, uh, but uh, you can actually, you can simplify. You can distribute this, you're going to get uh, x secant x uh, minus x squared secant x tan x plus secant x minus x secant x tan x minus secant x, x secant x, sorry. So x secant x with x secant x cancel, you're going to get this over this. Okay, that should be answered. Let's take a look. Um, 28 right secant x x squared 10 x plus x 10 x plus 1 okay you can yeah though they factor out that secant x you don't have to but let's do it so secant x will become negative x squared 10 x plus 1 minus tan x over x plus 1 squared it's fine no need but see Allah Adi. Uh, but how do they have pluses? I I'm taking a look at it. Uh, why is it pluses? Uh, it's because here Derivative of secant x is not negative. It's positive. Okay, the ones that are negative are only the ones with c at the start Okay, that's how you can memorize it. Anyways, so that means here Here this should be plus and this here should be plus so that means this here should be a uh, plus and this here should also be plus Okay, and that means this here is plus and plus. Okay, pretty, pretty easy. Not that hard. Okay, 29 is a bit easier. Uh, you have this is negative 3x cot 10x. Find the value of the derivative when x is equal to pi over 4. Uh, if you get this over here. Um, product rule, right? Because it's two functions together. If I u prime v plus v prime u. u prime is negative 3. v prime is negative cosecant squared x. So, so let's do it. So it's going to be u prime negative 3 cotan x plus v prime u, which is negative cosecant squared x times negative 3 x. Okay, so it becomes negative 3 cotan x plus 3 x cosecant squared x. Uh, negative 3 cotan x plus 3 x cosine squared x. They want it at pi over 4. They want it at pi over 4. If I substitute pi over 4, negative 3 times 1 over tan pi over 4. Le, le no cotan means 1 over tan. Okay? Plus 3 times pi over 4 times cosecant squared. What's cosecant squared? 1 over sine squared pi over 4. And you should get. I don't know what was the answer. Pi over 4. Uh, and they said what? Round it to the nearest whole number is going to be 2. Okay? Uh, is this correct? Let me see. Minus 3 cotan pi over 4. Plus 3 pi over 4. Uh, cosecant squared pi over 4. Yeah, it's correct. It's correct. Alright. Same question. Question 30, same thing. Again, they just want the derivative at pi over 24. If, uh, derive. Uh, this is not product rule. You just derive. 3 cotan pi over minus 6x. Type. Uh, what's the derivative of cotan? It's negative cosecant squared x, right? So it's going to be 3 times negative cosecant squared x. Sorry, <coughs> cosecant squared pi minus 6x. Times always the derivative of what's inside. Derivative of pi is 0. Derivative of negative 6x is negative 6. Okay, so you're going to get 3, negative 3 times negative 6 is so 18 cosecant squared pi minus 6x. Substituting now uh, uh, x as pi over 24, you're going to get cosecant squared pi minus pi over 24, and you're going to get, sorry, 6 pi over 24. 
and you're gonna get 18 do it on your calc 18 over cosecant yani 1 over sine pi minus 6 pi over 24 squared you get oh they want to enter the answer as a whole number so oof. what answer did they get here 36 what a fuck hold up ah oh, I should be in readings thank you safe and no one for pointing this out so you get 36 but guys make sure when you're doing this you're in radians mode huh tomorrow for the whole exam keep your exam in radians no need to keep it in degrees keep your calculator on radians that was the rate of change of the function h of x equals 3 over pi tan 3 pi x at x equals 1 over 12 rate of change means the uh, value of the derivative value of the derivative let's find the derivative 3 over pi is a constant the derivative of tan is secant squared 3 pi x don't forget you always multiply by the derivative of what's inside which is 3 pi tamam hello uh the pi will pi they cancel so you get 3 secant squared 3 pi times 1 over 12 let's do this on a calc 3 over sine uh, pi over 4 squared 6 uh, how do I get 18? Ah, oh, there's a 3. I forgot to multiply by 3. Huh? 3 over pi. Decant squared. Times 9. Times 9, sorry. Ti 3 and 3, any 9. I forgot the 3 here, 3. I only put this 3. I forgot this 3 on the right. 18. Uh, that's it for 2.4. Thank you so much for watching and good luck in your exam.